And it's a reverse. And it's Javid Best. And Best cuts to the outside. Runs over a Bruin. Beats another one with a stutter step. Beats another. Down the sideline. Into the end zone. Touchdown Bears. What a run by Javid Best. As good as he's had as a Cal Bear. Wow, and that's more than just straight line speed. Little stop there in the hole, little juke. He had seven 60 yard runs last year. Three went for 80 yards and beyond. He is one of the fastest, one of the quickest players currently in uh, college football, and we are delighted to have him in studio, the Jet. Oh, Javid Best from Kale joins us on Chronicle I'm Live. How to are be you? Here. Thank you. I'm doing good. And Killian is here from the San Jose Mercury News, and Henry Schulman, who uh, is a Kale grad mm -hmm. as well. You, you, you have your, uh, your diploma, right? Actually? <laughs> I actually permaplaked it and gave it to my mom, yeah. <laughs> well, good. She's proud of that, I know. And you're, you're dressed accordingly with your blue and gold. But uh, tell us how you're feeling these days. I know your team is back out informally. Coach Tedford and the staff can't be there, but you are working. Working out a little bit, and you have some injuries to come back from that elbow injury, yeah. and the and the, uh, the the foot injury as well. How how you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, like you said, I came back from uh, two injuries in the season, and uh, just doing a lot of rehab. And uh, we're at the tail end of it, so right now I'm getting back with my teammates and out there, just throwing the ball around, working on our game, and. Just having fun out there, and it's just been great to be back out there with my teammates. So you're 100%, you're good to go, the foot's uh, not yeah, bothering you anymore? Yeah, I'm feeling good. What happened with the I'm foot? You good. had surgery on that in January, right? Yeah, uh, it was just it was just a little problem in my foot. The bones weren't responding to each other quite correctly, and uh, it was just giving me a little bit of problems. But I had surgery on that, where they went in there and fixed it, and now everything's looking good. And the elbow injury, I actually did that game on Comcast Sportsnet California when you got upended against Colorado State, yeah, and you yeah. landed, man, you dislocated <laughs> that elbow. An elbow should not bend that way. Uh, I, it I thought, was gruesome. I thought I could stiff on the ground and uh, keep running, and unfortunately not. And the thing, you, you missed the next game against ASU, yeah. but after that, we did the game in Arizona, and you came out with that thing completely wrapped up. Yeah, looked like a pitcher after throwing 120 pitches, <laughs> and, and a squeamish here. Don't show that shot. Oh. Can you even look at that, Oh, Tim? wow. Yeah. Uh-oh. And I've got to look away. But you came back the next week, and I was thinking, how's this guy going to take a hand off all wrapped up like that? But you, you handled the ball cleanly, you blocked, and you also had a 100-yard game and a touchdown. So that was yeah, incre uh, impressive. Yeah. We, well, at practice, I uh, got used to it. We put a lot of padding and a lot of bands around it and everything. And felt like I felt like Mega Man out there. I had a little, yeah. a little protective layer <laughs> and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, I felt pretty comfortable in it. Uh, the only thing was, how am I going to hold the ball? And, I was just walking around school holding the ball like this and just getting used to it and everything worked out fine. Now you look noticeably bigger to me. It's hard to tell with the, with the long sleeve turtleneck on today with the cool weather, but you look like you've you've gotten a little bigger in the upper body, have uh, you? Yeah, since I've been last trying year? to uh, pack on the pounds. Just just getting used to taking the pounding out there. I mean, the other guys out there are big, so I got to be be big myself too. So. Just uh, putting on pounds, putting on muscle, and just maintaining my How speed. much have you gained? What, what are you up to now? I've gained about 10 pounds. Last year, I was playing at about on a heavy day, 190, and now I'm, I'm hitting 200 a little bit now. So it's good for me, and uh, it's just going to be good for the team, being out there, just playing fast and playing physical. And everybody compares you to Reggie Bush because you have the great breakaway speed, and Reggie's not a bad guy to be compared to. He's a great player. But to me, you are a much better line of scrimmage <laughs> runner. I mean, you're a better eye back. Uh, Reggie's good out in open spaces, but to me, you have the vision, you hit the hole quickly. When people say he's the next Reggie Bush, you have to be complimented by that to some degree, but you also say, just turn and hand me the ball. <laughs> uh, I can do that. Well, well it'd be hard for me to say that, because uh, growing up in high school when I was playing at Salesian, watching Reggie play for USC, that was, that was great for me. I mean, I tried to mimic his every move uh, when we played. I just tried to, tried to be like him on the field. And, uh, I mean, to, even today, I still watch his tapes and just try to learn his moves, see, try to get inside of his head. I wish I could talk to him in real life one day just to, just to exchange <laughs> words for him, with him. Keeping and up I, with the Kardashians is tough, isn't it? <laughs> He's on that more than the sports shows, isn't he? But, yeah, just having my name in the same sentence as a guy like him is just, a, is just an honor for me, and uh, I'm just glad, glad for that. Well, he's probably a better receiver than you are right now, but I think you're a better as far as line of scrimmage runner. But oh, thank you. Uh, one thing he has that I think you would like to get is a, is a Heisman Trophy. Yes. Uh, a lot of great quarterbacks around the nation. Uh, is, how do you uh, approach the season? Do you even think about winning the Heisman Trophy at all, or how does, how do you, how does your mind work with uh, that? The way I'm going to do it is approach it just like any other season. I mean, 
just just work on my game as best as I can. I just got to be out there helping my team. And uh, if that means rushing for a lot of yards a game, if that means just playing my role as a uh, just a contributor, whatever I got to do, because you've never heard of a Heisman Trophy winner and his team's not winning. That's a good point. So I just got to do the best I can do to have my team winning. And uh, from then on, take it to a, go try to win the Pac-10, take it wherever it goes from then. And if everything goes the way we plan, then the Heisman Trophy will come after that. Job, but I'm wondering, does it? I, I was looking on the internet today, and your name is right there behind those top three quarterbacks: yeah. Bradford, Tebow, and um, McCoy, and and then you. Does it does it put pressure on you? Does it? I know that when Marshawn was in the Heisman Trophy chase, there was talk that you know maybe that was, he was feeling a lot of pressure because of that. And I'm just wondering, how do you kind of keep all that that hype at bay? Mm. Uh, I guess the best thing you can do is ignore it. I mean. You can't really buy into it, what everybody's saying about you, because if you buy into everything, what everybody's saying, you become satisfied as a player. And satisfaction is a thing where if anybody in any sport, if they get that, the game will just peak out right there. And so I just try to keep, humble myself and never stay satisfied so I can keep getting better. Now, one thing I was curious about, I believe you have Maryland first up on the yeah. uh, schedule. Uh, obviously, that's a game that left a bitter taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You flew out there. I think they started that game at 7 in the morning, uh, Maryland time, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, like 4 in the morning here. <laughs> how do you feel about, I mean, obviously, you guys want to crush them in, in return for what they did to you, but how do you feel about that game right off the bat as opposed to, uh, you know, a game against a so-called cupcake uh, that a lot oh. of teams schedule the first part of the year? Uh, that, that's uh, that's uh, what I believe in, and I mean, uh, you want to start off the season with a bang. I mean, get things rolling early, because then once you, if you win this first game, this big game, you just get momentum that'll carry you f for the next three, four, maybe five games. So it's good to start off with a bang, and you don't want to start off the season slow either. You'd rather start with them than, you know, play some Division two school and win yeah, 73 to nothing. Yeah, you want to start off yeah. with a big bang, get you ready for your uh, conference games. And when you say that left a bad taste in his mouth, literally, I think, I think you had to brush your teeth after That's that right. game, because you, you pulled a Pete Sampras. Uh, Right in the middle of the field here, Kevin Barnes <laughs> is going to step up. And uh, what did you have that morning? A little blue Cytomax Max or something? Oh. <laughs> that was that was a mixture uh, of Gatorade. And uh, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I good mean, thing you had a light breakfast that morning, <laughs> right, Kevin? I mean, things happened out there. It was a good 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 defense by uh, Barnes, and I mean, it was a great hit. And Kevin Barnes is actually in the NFL. He was drafted by the uh, Washington Redskins, a third round pick. Yeah.